Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Four of Swords. They're definitely thinking about the situation here. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, there's someone here, Aquarius, who definitely wants to reach out here. Aquarius, I apologize for all this noise in the background. It's just so noisy in my space lately and there's never really a good time to record without noise. So I do apologize, I hope it's not too disruptive, but um, we're doing our best. Okay, so there's definitely someone here who's thinking a lot about coming forward. Um, I feel like this person likes to flirt with you. There's like this like chemistry that you will have with this person if you haven't already met them. They, um, what is this Ten of Wands? Like something is stressing them out. What is this Ten of Wands? The King of Cups, the Hierophant, the Page of Swords. You know what I'm getting right away? This person doesn't know if you're if you're already in a connection. So I feel like this is someone new. And even or if it even if it is someone from your past, maybe you haven't spoken to them in a while. But this person's really curious about if you are already in a connection, if you're looking for a connection right now, because this person feels like they're developing very strong feelings for you here. Um, this is someone who doesn't always show their emotions. I feel like again, they come off as more like a page, more like flirty, more like carefree. You might even think, oh, they're not too serious themselves. But in reality, I feel like this person actually wants something committed. They want something um, more traditional, so to speak. But they don't know if you do. So it sort of stresses them out that they're feeling this way. I really want Aquarius. I want this higher level of commitment. I want this um, to, you know, uh, act off of these feelings. But they just don't know if you're on the same page. So they might be doing like a lot of question asking like are you in a relationship are you looking for a relationship when's the last time you had a relationship like i feel like there's like questions like that going on with this page of swords um there's just something different here about you aquarius where this person is like even if it's like right away this this person just feels like this spark with you and so this doesn't usually happen for this person is what I'm getting. So it's stressing them out because they keep thinking about it with this Four of Swords. Anything else about that Four of Swords? <laughs> the lovers, I'm telling you, this person feels like they're in love with you or they're falling for you here. They could be a Gemini or a Taurus um, or Aries Leo Sag. This person is, you know, to like come forward and let you know how they feel will change everything, right? Because if this is just a friend or if this is someone you've just been casually talking to, like it's like once they say what they want to say, there's no going back, right? So I feel like this person's just thinking about it a lot, but they think about you a lot. They think about this situation a lot here, Aquarius. Um, this person's falling for you. I just heard twin flames. So I obviously, you know, everyone's journey is different. If you feel like you're in a twin flame connection, this could be twin flame coming back. Um, maybe they've said that with you before. Maybe you already think that this person is your twin flame. With twin flames, there's always a runner and a chaser. Um, 
so the runner has like a fear of intimacy, whereas the chaser has fear of abandonment, right? Uh, so usually the, the twin flames come together and then there's the separation period. And during that separation, hopefully both of them work on their wounds, right? So for some of you, it could be that, um, maybe not, but either way, this person is just thinking about you and how much they care and how much they want you and they want to be in something. They just don't know if you're on the same page and it stresses them out. Yeah. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius? Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. You, you know what's so interesting? This person's acting like this isn't bothering them at all. They're acting like they're good, single, like they're, you know, they're, they're non-committal, you know, they're just doing as they please when they please, like they might sort of be making like really spontaneous decisions of just like, I'm getting like travel or uh, maybe even moving or something like that. I'm gonna pull on that. But yeah, I feel like this person is acting like they're not interested at all actually. And again, I feel like it comes back to this 10 of wands, page of swords, hierophant. They don't know if you're already in a connection or if you even want a connection the same way they would. Um, Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So there's definitely a conversation coming in here. Definitely conversation coming in here. Tell me about that Ace of Swords, the Strength, the Seven of Wands, Leo energy here. You know, I feel like this person... There's going to be like some, uh, how do I put this? They're not going to tell you everything. I feel like this person wants to come across like very sure, very confident, very okay on their own, very independent, which I feel like they are. But at the same time, like deep down how they feel is they really want a commitment because they're falling for you, right? But I also feel like there is something here about this person you know, sometimes people feel like they get into a relationship and everything, everything changes. Like they'll lose their independence. They won't see their friends anymore. They won't be able to do the same things anymore. And I mean, sometimes those things do change. Yes. But I feel like, you know, when two people come together, they're still their own people. So this person might have been in situations before where they just sort of like lost themselves in a connection and they're not wanting to do that. This person wants to come off to you like very, very strong, very confident because they see you as that. The seven of wands is interesting. I feel like, tell me about this seven of wands. The devil. This person gets defensive. Capricorn energy. They get really defensive. It's almost like if you bring up, um, Hey, like I'm kind of getting this feeling that maybe you have deeper feelings for me or like you do want to commit. They'll it's almost like they'll deny it. It's almost like they want you to say it first. The feelings are there, but they're acting like they're not. They might be throwing themselves into work, you know, um working day and night, no time they might be like I have no time for anything. Right? It just feels like it feels like this person wants you to say it first. Um, anything else about that Ace of Swords? Like, what is this conversation coming in? Eight of Swords. Like, they're. It's like they want to tell you fully what's going on in their mind, but they, like I said, there's only going to be pieces of it because their own mind is what's keeping them from from opening up, from being vulnerable, from sharing with you all of these things that they're thinking about, that they're in love, that they're falling for you, that they have these strong feelings, that they want something more traditional, more committed, right? It stresses them out that they think about this all the time, Aquarius. They think about you and doing this with you all the time, but they don't want to reveal that because they don't want to come across like, I hate, I hate this, but I feel like there's there can be a narrative of like, oh, if I show all my feelings first and I'm emotional first and I'm vulnerable first and I'm put myself out there, it there's a risk there's a risk for getting hurt and that risk feels too big, 
right? Instead of just being like, you know what, screw it. If Aquarius doesn't feel the same, at least I put myself out there. This person's mentality is more like, I don't want to look like a fool. I don't want to, right? It's like, oh, there's almost like pride here with that devil card. Um, so they get defensive. It's almost like they, so if you were to say something like, oh, like, you know, I thought, I thought maybe you were you were falling for me or you have a crush on me or something. They'd be like, what? No, there's no way. I'm good on my own. Like I'm doing work. I love my independent. Like they'll, it's like they'll over explain. They'll overcompensate for what you're asking about. Um, it feels like a fear. Like they don't want to be the first one to admit it. But then if you were to be like, oh, well, I was feeling it. Then they'd be, then maybe they'd be like, oh, well, maybe me too. Right? It's like they don't want to be the first one to say it. That's just what I keep getting. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, it's just like, you know what? It's almost like this person wants you to sort of fight for them too. Like, they'd be willing to fight for you, but they want you to fight for them just as much. It's almost like they want to feel... They want to know that you feel as strongly for them as they feel for you. So again, instead of just putting themselves out there and being like, whether Aquarius, you know, reciprocates it or not, I'm just going to say what I say and feel what I feel. They're like, no, 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 no. Like, I can't be vulnerable. I can't put myself out there like that. It's like they want you to, it, like to fight for their attention. So they're going to be like in and out. They're going to be hot and cold. They're not going to give you like the full conversation here. I feel like they get defensive. I feel like they, um, you know are like super into you and super in it like one day and then the next day they're completely cold with that knight of wands five of wands energy queen of swords right like i just feel like this person is like purposely doing this at least in the next little bit here aquarius let's see their intentions like what does this person want what is this person's intentions with aquarius judgment which is the card of second chances Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, the Devil again, Capricorn energy. You know, this person, tell me about judgment. It's almost like this person wants a chance with you just to be the one to Seven of Swords. Yeah, like it, it, their intentions don't look good here, Aquarius. It's like how they feel and then how they act and then their intentions, what they plan to do are completely different. That's why I like to do all of these sections because how this person feels is like they're like they're falling for you if they're not already in love with you. They have strong feelings for you. King of Cups, this person, when they picture being in a committed relationship, they picture it with you, Aquarius. But this person plans on like being deceptive, on like being emotionally distant, on like keeping up with this. Like it's like they're aware of what they do, but they don't plan on changing it. It's almost like they want to get you addicted to them. They want you to fight for their attention. They want you to come after them. Maybe this is what they're used to um, and you're just not doing that. Or maybe, you know, they just want it just from you for whatever reason. You're like that one that they can't, you know, seem to crack the code, whatever, so to speak. Um, but this person just, it just looks like they're, they're playing games here. Like I'm surprised the Five of Swords isn't here. Like they're just playing mind games at this point. It's like they're never going to tell you they actually want a chance to like go after these feelings because they don't think you feel the same and they don't want to be vulnerable. It's unfortunate. It's almost like this person would rather, uh, rather be alone and not experience this mutual love than be vulnerable, than like be the first one to say it, then, you know, put themselves out there. It's like, they're very guarded. They're very like, the feelings are there, but they, they don't want you to know that. It could be something to do with their reputation too, or like the people they hang out with, with that nine of pentacles, knight of wands for their actions. Like they're, maybe they're just in a group of people who are like, you know, bachelors, bachelorettes, don't really commit, don't settle down, you know, screw feelings, you know, I'm a savage, whatever those weird narratives are. Um, yeah, I feel like that's what this person's doing. I mean, let's see the potential outcome, but it just looks like this person's like, they're not going to be open, excuse me, opening up to you. 
uh, okay. Tell me about the potential outcome. Two of Swords, Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. You know what it is? It's like this person, and you know, this came out for, um, I can't remember. It's come out before, but this person is so indecisive about whether or not to take that next step with you and just go for it, that it just leaves them in limbo and then they just get stuck in regret. It's like a loop. I should tell Aquarius how I feel. No, 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 I don't wanna be vulnerable. Okay, I'm not gonna be vulnerable. Okay, let me go distract myself. Let me go like out, do what I need to do. And then they start to feel bad again. Okay, maybe I should tell it. It's like this loop that they're like stuck in here. Um, we are getting the page of pentacles, which again, I feel like this person could be younger than you, could just be like a little less mature. Um, it, this could be them just saying, let's just be friends. Or maybe you just being like, I feel like we're just better off as friends, right? I just feel like there's indecision here. This might even be you being like, I don't even know if I want to be friends with this person because of how inconsistent they are. Right? It just feels like you can kind of feel this energy, Aquarius, of like, this is their actions and their intentions, the devil card, right? Like they plan to keep it up. They plan to like, they're still operating from fear. They're still operating from defensiveness, right? It's not like they're trying to heal that. It's not like they're trying to address that. It's like, they've kind of accepted like, this is just who I am, right? It's almost like complacent. Like, it's like, this is just how I am. Deal with it kind of deal. Um, but they have a lot of regrets. It's like they wish they were doing things differently, but they're not doing things differently. It's like, it's like someone who wakes up every day and is like, okay, today's the day where I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm just going to use exercise as an example. Cause I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. Today's the day I'm going to start exercising. And they think about it and they think about it a lot. And then they're like, okay. And they even like put their gym clothes on and then it's like time to go. And they're like, mm, here's all the reasons why I'm not going to go. And then they don't. And then the end of the day, they sit there and beat themselves up. Oh, I should have gone. And then it's like, they do the same thing again the next day. Right? So that's why I feel like this person's in a loop. It's like, they want to tell you how they feel. Like they think about it all the time. It stresses them out. They go to do it. And then they're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to be the vulnerable one. And then they're like beating themselves up for not doing it. And then they start all over again. So this person's like stuck is how it feels. Um, how will Aquarius know who this is? Nine of Wands, someone who's very guarded, the Wounded Warrior, Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's like, there could be betrayal here. Page of Cups. Um, there could have been a betrayal. I see the Knight of Wands at the bottom. Could have been like a painful ending or just someone who you just had to walk away from or walked away from you. Whenever the Page of Cups comes out, I feel like it is an apology but I feel like it's an apology that doesn't match what happened, right? And we got all the pages here, page of wands, page of swords, page of cups, page of pentacles. Like, I feel like this person is immature. They have a lot to learn, right? And it's not that, you know, it's not about being better than or good or bad. It's just, they're just at a different mindset in their life, right? Um, there could be like addiction involved in some way. I just feel like, so even if there is an apology that comes, I feel like it doesn't match what they did or what happened here. Um, yeah, so someone who's just very guarded. Um, any advice for Aquarius? Seven of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Six of Cups. Yeah, it definitely feels like you have history with this person. Judgment coming out too. It, it feels like you kind of already know how this is going to go. I feel like you know the cycle with this person. I feel like you know how it starts. You know, it could start out flirty, it could start out like it's fun, it's interesting, and then it's just like, maybe you do have good memories with this person and maybe the advice is here is just to sort of, you know, acknowledge those good memories, but realize that this person isn't stepping out of their shell anytime soon. They're not going to uh, be vulnerable anytime soon. They're not going to stop their patterns anytime soon, right? So maybe it's more about, you know, we did have some good times and I'm going to hold on to those, but you know, this person can't offer me any more than that, at least at this time right now. 
right? Anything about that Six of Cups? Six of Wands, now you're getting Six, Six. Yeah, I feel like there was good times here. I do, I feel like there was fun. I feel like it was exciting. Um, there was, there were times where like you felt good about this connection at some point or other, but it's just, it's kind of just, how do I put this? If we're in a situation where all we're doing is thinking about the good times that are no longer current, right? Well, I want to give this person a chance because of all those good times we had, because of, you know, think about all those good memories but there's no current memories being made. Like if we're constantly living in the past of, well, the first six months were really good, but the last year has been not so good. It's like, maybe like, I feel like the advice is to be like, accept that those were really good memories, but that's what you're getting out of this connection, right? Like maybe it's not meant to go any further. You were just meant to experience like those good times and that's it. Cause this person just feels stuck to me. We got main female. It's interesting because like, I always say I don't really connect with the Kipper, but I, sometimes I just really feel drawn. We got sudden wealth, poverty, great fortune and marriage. So it almost feels like it could have been like really good and then all of a sudden it was bad and then it was good again and then it like kind of started that cycle. Like it just feels like, like it, felt, it feels like a roller coaster a little bit here. Some of you, it could have been marriage, right? Or maybe you talked about marriage with this person. Um, like I said, it could have felt really good. I'm also getting with that sudden wealth. This person could have like recently just come into like a lot of wealth or something and started acting different. Um, take it as it resonates. They said three and 26. So 326 might be relevant. Let's see if there's any hidden messages for you, Aquarius. I wish things could be different. So this person does wish that things could be different between the two of you, but they're also not doing anything to make that happen. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. This is what I'm saying. So this person, like it's, they're stressed, that 10 of wands energy. They are stressed out. The more they, like, it's like every time they think about you, it's like the weight of the world is on their shoulders, but they're not doing anything about it. So I do feel like they're going to reach out, but like they're not even being completely open and honest with you. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. Um, they could have said that to you, but maybe that's how you feel about this person too. I wish I could take back my words. You got a lot here. You have become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turnoff. So if someone's ever making you feel like your needs and you know desires and the things you need in, in a relationship is too much... You, you could be the full package at the wrong door, right? So again, if, but if there's like this energy of like, but we had such great times or it was so good at one point, I feel like it's just like accepting like those good times were meant to happen, but they're no longer, right? We got, you and I were too young. Mm -hmm. So I also feel like this person feels like they can come back and like sort of message you whenever they feel like you did get judgment and six of cups which are my two cards that indicate this is someone from your past coming back if you're like there's absolutely no one there's no ex that i have it could just mean that you have a past life with this person and there'll be like this sense of familiarity but the devil coming out twice it's almost like this person's like a little bit addicted to you too we got i am not available and i will wait for a sign from you you see like even like the back and forth and the messages it's like this is too much. I can't do this. I'll wait for you. Um, you know, it, we got, I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood traumas. So that could be either of you, right? Like I said, there could be runner chaser here with the twin flame. Um, and the chaser has fear of abandonment. We have, I bury myself in work to forget you. That's what I was saying before. I want to be more than friends. You see? I, my focus is on my life. I can't be bothered to worry about you. You see this back and forth. I want to be more, but I can't. I, like I have other things I'm working on and focusing on, right? Like it's like this person can't make up their mind. Um, but how they feel is they're in love. And look at that. We got twin flames. Yin yang imbalance, union and duality, complement polar opposites. Yeah, I really strongly feel like this could be a twin flame connection here. Um, 
So maybe you, maybe this person's the runner coming back, right? Because um, like I said, there's like that separation, but then hopefully during that time you both heal your wounds, but it's, it's as soon as the chaser stops chasing and chasing doesn't have to mean calling and texting and going to see them. Chasing can just mean constantly thinking about them or fantasizing about what it would be like to be with them. As soon as the chaser is like, you know what, I'm good. I don't need anyone. I don't need the runner, right? Um, I know my worth. It energetically triggers the runner and the runner actually becomes the chaser and comes back, right? And sometimes it's too late. The, the, like the chaser has moved on or too much time has passed or whatever. Um, Cause you are getting shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany transformation. So this person could come out of nowhere. But yeah, I was strongly feeling twin flame energy here. Um, so yeah, it feels like the runner is coming back. And we got within the next few months. So even though I did the reading for uh, their actions for the next few weeks, um, for some of you, it could be a little bit longer here, um, but we did get abundance as well, which I love. And then we got look for a sign. Look for a sign for abundance. There's some, Tell me about the abundance. I feel like there's something here that you might be missing. Strength. There's some sort of obstacle. Yeah, ten of cups that you're going to overcome. Nine of pentacles behind that. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of obstacle you overcome that on the other side of it, it's going to be really fulfilling and really rewarding. Not only emotionally, but financially. So if there's some sort of like hump that you're trying to come overcome right now with work or career or something like that, I feel like keep going because there's 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 plenty of abundance on the other side of it is what I'm getting. Um, we got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I don't think that that's a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences, but that I was just talking about work. There's something that keep going. Whatever you're putting your mind to um, will happen for you. And we got purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So I feel like, and look how similar these cards are. Like, I feel like you are finding your purpose. You are finding, you know, what um, calls to you. And so keep going. Because if you feel like you've been at it for a while and nothing's come of it, I feel like it's about to happen here. We got you are good enough, Virgo energy. Yes, you are, Aquarius. Not that there's any more. That you are good enough. And then let's see the oracle message for you. Oracle message for Aquarius, please, spirit. Okay, we got go the distance. You know what's so funny, and I guess I should have said it, was when I was talking about if you feel like you've been, you know, at this for a while, I, I got like in the desert if you've been in the desert like nothing's happening like nothing and i'm seeing this card now and i see uh the desert um in the background there and also this cheetah is like almost at the finish line right so they're like almost there so i feel like this is representative of what of what you've been going through i'm going to read the relationship message but i'm also going to read the prosperity message because i feel like there's something in there for you but the relationship message says you are either in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time. For better or for worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean there will never be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart. Isn't that magnificent? So I do feel like, especially if you've been in this twin flame, because twin flame journeys can last a long time. Um, I feel out of breath right now, and I don't know why. So if you just like, I feel like I just went for a run. So, uh, but again, maybe alluding to this image here, but if you've been in this journey for a long time with this person, it could be like, they're finally coming back, but maybe you're just at the point now where you're like, you know what? I don't even need them the same way I thought I needed them before, or, or I'm just okay with being friends right now. Right. Um, doesn't mean things won't change, but, um, yeah, that's just what I'm getting with that. But let's read the prosperity message as well. Your most precious, precious dreams are not about instant gratification, but enduring prosperity. 
This is a time to think long-term and engage in continued action. You will experience momentum building as you translate the ebb and flow into slow and steady movement forward. Your efforts, ideas, and hard work now can lead to greater riches than you can imagine. Stroke, stoke the fire so that an uninterrupted stream of energy is available to support you in all of the phases of manifestation. Be assured that you are in the right place right now. So whatever you're doing is working, Aquarius. So don't give up because you're almost at the finish line there. And I feel like at the other side of it, there's a lot of abundance. Okay. Oh, we got a lot. Um, okay, so these could be initials of you or this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, uh, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got J, U, D, C, G, R, W, you and the number six okay Aquarius so I do hope something here resonated with you if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn to do so thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy sending you so much love and light